the house on where it's Monday morning. This is it. We're in the middle of a yucca field and uh, just some posts on the ground. There's no house. I mean, three days there'll be a house. It was a few days. It's a few hours. It won't be good. We're about to dig a foundation. Dig one hell of a foundation. Yeah. <laughs> Here we are at El Capizano, our vacation home. We are lounging and relaxing after a tough morning of Filling up the swimming pool, which is filling up right now. It is actually being filled up in case we run out of water for showers, bathroom, and for making cement. Hey guys! So here we are at the end of day one, or towards the end of day one, in Camposano. We are they're uh, making to tie in the steel, build the house, home, the frame of the house. Okay. This is going to make the house earthquake, earthquake proof. Having fun, Brad? We can tell. Almost try again. Throwing it up in the air. Throw it up. Straight up. Here's Hannah and Madison and Izzy Hi. learning how to lay block and move. Hey. Don Alfredo showing them how. No plop. No plop. Suave. Suavemente. Suavemente. Maybe that's why they call the soap suave because it's gentle on it's your skin. Smooth. How do you put it down? Mira. Watch. Oh, okay. Okay. Alright, if I can do that. Alright. Suavemente. Uh, yeah, okay. Bueno, bueno. No. Now, but, no, look, no, no. Nah. It's got to be even. Oh. See? Okay, you guys are doing. You're learning. This is good. This is 11 o'clock on Monday morning. We're hanging out. Hanging out. We are working hard. Uh, laying blocks. Some of our kids are laying blocks. Some of our. Is Danny Woolman laying block? Diabloing and. We're about halfway through the first level of the house.
Hello! Hello from Hola. Nicaragua! This is Elizabeth. She's our group leader. And I'm awesome. No, I'm <laughs> nice! She's had that attitude all week. So why don't you tell the people home back in New York what we're doing? Yes. We, right now? Right now, right like now, at well, this moment. At this moment, we are just opening up our volcano. Uh, we opened up our volcano. And we're about to do another big pour over big here. Big pour, uh, like a big pour of what? Juice? No, of cement. A mezcla. A mezcla. And what are we doing with that? Let's let's show the folks at home what we're doing with it. Right here. We're gonna pour it in here. This is gonna be steel reinforced concrete when it's done. Earthquake resistant. It is Wednesday morning. The forms have come off. About to do the second layer of the house. There's a bit. Do the week in our volcano. Are you doing video? Yes. Okay. I'm off. Are you laying block? Yeah, I'm laying block. So you're building a wall? I'm building a wall. Yeah. Because we're hardcore in Camposano here. Nice. It's a good looking wall, Hannah. Hey, Jack, want to uh, explain what, uh, what's going on over here? Alright, so we went to scaffolding so people can stand on it. This is our second level. Attack the dirt. Before. Attack the dirt. We've been attacking the dirt. So now this is our second level of of uh, brick build or block laying. Extra high. Um, lots of base cloth. That means cement. Hey Brad. Uh, we are almost done. Day three of work. Almost done with the morning of day three of work. Hola. Who will you introduce your friends? Jason. Jason. Nadia. Na Nadia. Luis. 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 Y Sara. Hola, Sara. Hi. 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 Getting ready for our final pour. Shoveling cement over there. Shoveling sand over there, sorry. And here's our pile to make our last giant volcano. Well, yeah, I'm good. Whoa! What is it? Uh, Las Conchitas on our first day of work. We're building two houses and uh, today we started off this early morning with digging up foundation through incredibly rocky soil and uh, it's hard work. We're having a great time doing it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Michaela, what are you doing? Um, diabloing, which means you put the cement in between the cracks, so then the cinder blocks will stay together. Did you do this whole wall? Bienvenidos and welcome to the house. Yes, I, so far you see we, we finish up to this level, we've done the middle floor, and today we're going to do the same thing except higher. How you feeling? Uh, I'm so, I feel better now and uh, with a lot of energy ready for this uh, new day and, uh, and I have all the kids ready to work so that's, that's great. That's good. You know, I know if you want to relax today, there's a pool in El Camposano. You want to go over there and relax oh, today? There, there is time right now that I can switch and I go there just for the rest of the week. <laughs> Maybe. Thank you. <laughs> What are you guys doing? Sifting. Sifting some For what? For the cement. In between the blocks. Sift and shout. <laughs> Alright, so right now, they're doing the top floor of the house. And so. they're starting the volcano. It's the biggest cement dash that we've made to so it's, it's very impressive. So is it just them prepper? Is it them? Yeah. Is it them prepping for adding water? Jason, want to go to the pool? Far drive to the I guess that would be thank you. Who's the cutter? Where's the cutter? David. What? Hola. 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 <laughs> um, today we are sanding tiles in book club, as you can see. And uh, we're almost done with the house and we've been painting themes red. And um, so yeah, we're almost done with the house. This is Fran <laughs> This is Francine. This is Alexander and this is going to be their new house. Day three of building, almost done. Beautiful in Hinotega. Gorgeous weather. Gorgeous landscape.
<laughs> this is the temple video, Dan. <laughs> Everyone is working really, really hard. We're in the afternoon of our second day. There's Lindsay. Hello. And we just got here and we're about to do the top pour. There's Allie. Washing some of our materials from this morning. And we got the big volcano that we just mixed. And Lindsay, there's Lindsay. Here's Lindsay. Brian, Eric, Austin, wow. Sasha, Caitlin. Caitlin's been our truck girl, our dirt and uh, gravel shoveler. And then we got Chico, Fabian. <laughs> and here's the house. So we're getting buckets of cement ready. Um, so anybody want to say hello or say a word? Hey, Lindsay top and four. Allie. Top what? Four. Top, oh, top four. That's the word. Okay. So, um, these are the masons. Um, this is our. This is what a second day of work looks like. And a lot of cement. Our word for the past two days has been cement. Mixing cement, making cement, putting cement in between tile. Well, not tiles, but our cinder blocks, etc., etc. Oh yeah. This has been a, a team effort this entire time. The work that um, we've done this week started way before this, before you showed up. It started with the community leaders very long time ago. Entonces, eh, le damos fuerza al proyecto que empezó en febrero del año pasado y de la cual el grupo Templo fue el, este, el primero grupo en trabajar en, en este proyecto. Um, and with that being said, we would like to uh, give a warm welcome to house number 27 and 28 in Hinotega. La, that it's a project that started last February, um, which is when the, the Bedford Temple group of last year came and built houses. Entonces, eh, en 12 meses hemos construido... Um, so I, I would like to thank everyone for, for building this, this home for us. It's something that we could not have built ourselves. We don't have the resources for this. Um, so for that, I'd like to thank you. I also ask God to, to take you back to your country 
just as healthy and happy that you came here. So for that, I, all I have to say is thank you. It was really life changing and I'm so happy to be here. And I just really loved it here and I love everyone here and I'm, thank you for everything. <laughs> Quieren ser muy muy tranquilos. Tienen sentimiento para los nicaragüenses. So it's it's been a very great experience, and we're very happy that all of the the, the children and some of their fathers have come um, to to join this experience. You have all been very very hard workers, very relaxed, very just cool people to hang out with. And it's obvious that you guys have a lot of emotions for, for Nicaragua and its people. Yo por mi parte, porque tanto que la estaba necesitando. Yo me siento muy orgulloso de que ustedes estén aquí en mi hogar. I feel very proud to have you all here in my in my new home, and thank you. And we believe that God intends for everybody to have a safe place to live and to raise their family. Dice que creemos que sin parar. Thank you so much for making the grand effort to come all the way from the United States, from your houses here, to work hard under the under the sun with us. Y esperamos agradecerles el recuerdo que nos dejan. Y es muy importante para mi mamá y para mi familia. Es muy importante para mi mamá y para mi familia. Gracias. Gracias. Ha sido una semana increíble. Primeramente, quiero agradecerle a todos en la comunidad. Ha sido una semana maravillosa. Uh, bien linda, bien alegre, más cuando fuimos allá, antes de noche, era que alegre. Very beautiful, very happy, even though we were constructing really, really hard into the night. Very happy. Um, Tanto guitarra. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> después, después, después. después. <laughs> um, we, we were reminded this week, we, we learned a lot this week, about how uh, communities should work. Esta semana nosotros aprendimos mucho de que cómo debe funcionar una comunidad. That when people work together, that anything can happen. No casi todos siempre están dispuestos a hacerlo. So he wants to thank Brad for making the decision to ask the group to put down, to lay the blocks and not just use the Diablo. That was a really special moment for him teaching Jack and Jack and Danny to, to lay the blocks. He says not everyone is really, really able or really ready to, to learn that way. He really appreciated that opportunity. So he said, even though some have told me that I look kind of angry, it's not my fault, it's just how my face is. He said, really though, I think that we've been really happy, we've had fun together, we've passed a really good week and had a lot of fun together. Yeah. <laughs>
Getting tiles. They've only one goal. Survive. Lindsay's completely lost her mind. We'll have to kill her soon to survive. We've already sacrificed our librarian. We've resorted to eating the tiles for food. I don't know how much longer this can last. <laughs> <laughs> 